Hello students, I am your science teacher and today in this video I am going to tell you how to write chemical formulas. Before that, let's revise what are ions and what is valency. Ions are nothing but they are a group of atoms or a single atom bearing positive or negative charge. They are chemical species which are charged. So the ions which are positively charged are called cations while the ions which are negatively charged are called anions. Generally metals form cations and non-metals form anions. Now let's understand how to write chemical formula. Before uh, understanding how to write chemical formula, we should know all the symbols of the general elements and their valency. Now, before that, let's understand what is valency. Let's revise what is valency. Valency, you already know that it is the combining capacity of the element and it depends on how many electrons are present in the valence shell of that atom or the element. For example, sodium. What is the atomic number of sodium? Yes, it's 11. So, what is the electronic configuration? It's 2, 8 and 1. So, in the outermost shell, how many electrons are present? One electron is present. So, to make it stable, either it can take 7 electrons or it can donate 1 electron. What is easier? Donating single electron is easier. So, that is why your sodium atom donate 1 electron to make Na positive and 1 is the valency of the sodium because it is donating one single electron. Now let's understand first of all we have to write the symbol of the element which are present in the formula then we have to write the valency of the element then we have to cross multiply. Now let's understand it with one um, formula with one compound. Now hydrogen chloride what are the two elements here? One is hydrogen and another one is chlorine. So what is the formula of hydrogen? It is H. What is the chemical formula of chlorine? It is Cl. What is the valency of hydrogen? It is 1. What is the valency of chlorine? It is also 1. If I cross multiply these, I will get H. Cl. So, this is how we write the chemical formula. Now, let's take another example. This is carbon tetrachloride. Now, what are the elements? First one is your carbon. Second one is your chlorine. What is the valency of carbon? 4. What is the valency of chlorine? It's 1. Now, we are going to cross multiply it and I will get 1 carbon because 1 is multiplied by carbon and Four chlorine. So I will write 4 at the base of chlorine. So my formula is CCl4. Now next one is ammonium oxide, aluminium oxide. Now what is the formula of aluminium? It's Al. And what is the formula of oxygen? It's O. What is the valency of aluminium? It's 3. What is the valency of oxygen? It's 2. Now we are going to cross multiply and I will get 2 atoms of aluminium and 3 atoms of oxygen. So formula will be Al2O3. Right? Now let's come to another example that is calcium oxide. What is the formula of calcium? It is Ca. What is the chemical symbol of oxygen? It is O. Now what is the valency of calcium? It's 2. What is the symbol? What is the valency of oxygen? It's also 2. Now since both are 2, you can cancel out these and you will get what? You will get CaO because it will become 1, it will become 1 and when you cross multiply you have to have 1 calcium atom and 1 oxygen atom in the formula. Now next one is your calcium hydroxide. What is the symbol of calcium? It's Ca. What is the symbol of hydroxide? Hydroxide is OH negative. It means in this ion there are two atoms, not a single atom. Now what is the valency of your calcium? It is 2. What is the valency of OH? It is 1. You cross multiply it and you will get what? You get CaOH. This 2 is multiplied by both O and H. 
right so you have to make a bracket and then you have to write two so your formula is caoh hold twice now next one is your sodium carbonate what is the symbol of sodium it is na and what is the symbol of carbonate co3 now what is the valency of sodium valency of sodium is 1 what is the valency of carbonate it is 2 you cross multiply it and you will get what you will get na2co3 this is your sodium carbonate so that's all for today we'll continue this in the next video